Hello crafters and welcome to my 12th video of the how to build a 4-bit computer series. In the last video I showed you how to make like the frame of the 7 segment display decoder and in this video I will be making the actual displays I think. Um, so it's been a while since I built one of these, I think I said that last video, but yeah. Um, so if I go a bit hazy in the middle and uh, forget where I am, I apologise for that. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, I'm going to like trying to be safe and take these out quite far, because I'm not sure how how big they need to be. Uh, okay then. I think that should be okay. Hmm. What colour should I do the display? I think I might do it white. I haven't used any white wool yet. White or cyan. I've used cyan. Yeah, I'll do white. Okay, so the actual display will be in white. Oh, bother. This is colour coded wrong, isn't it? Red is for RAM. After, yeah, when I finish this, I'll go back and colour code it right. So when I release the world download, it should be a a OK. Um, hmm. So to begin with, you need to build, just come out like this far maybe, and build your seven segments. This is going to be a piston seven segment display because torch seven segment displays are rubbish. Look completely naff. Okay then, so these are our seven segments, and using these, you can uh, like you can make the nine, uh, nine different, uh, ten different digits. Sorry. Um, so like if you can visualize it in your head, using these top four and that one down here, that'd be like the number nine, and using them all would be the number eight, and so on and so on. So from these, you need to uh, come out and place pistons. Like, uh, actually, the easiest thing to do is to uh, come two out like so and build like a frame directly behind it. Whoops. Fly. Okay. Um, yes, like so. Now I uh, just add pistons all of these. I've seen absolutely terrible seven segment displays in the past. Absolutely terrible ones. But I believe this to be uh, one of the most compact ones you can make. Like people with horrendous amounts of wires going all over the place when there really no need. So now you can delete all these blocks and I'll show you a like nifty ways of building this. Well one nifty way. So each segment, all three pistons of each segment need to be like retracted um, or extended at the same time. So to do this, for the side ones, you just need to build a little shape like that and add a, another top like that. That will extend all three at the same time. Like the people messing around with stuff like this, God knows what they're doing. Stuff like that having to, uh, I don't have a clue to be honest, but trying to get them all to extend at once when you only need two blocks to do it. So yeah, the that's uh hide this the side ones. Sorry about that shakiness. Because my mouse having a quick spats. Okay then as you can see now all four uh, all four vertical pieces are done. The way I'm going to do the uh, the top ones is just add uh, three like that, so they're all on the same delay, they're all on one ticking delay. And then, like so. And that's those three connected. Same for the middle three. Like this. And finally for the bottom three. Turn it's day, use a 
light current. Okay then. Now, now we need these seven segments to wire to be wired up to uh to these uh, to the first seven lines here. So one, two, three, six, seven. I think I've built this pretty much in the middle. Um, so okay, the way I do this is the um, the top right and the top left go on the outside, and then the bottom right and the bottom left go like one in from that, and then the middle three. I just make it up to be honest every time I do it. So take this out. Uh, cut up. Okay. Uh, this can be taken straight down like so. And is that in line now? Yep. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna add repeaters to all of these. Hopefully they'll uh, they'll reach. I may invert these depending on what I feel like because some people like when a number is being shown some people like having those numbers being like extended and some people like having them uh, having retracted so like it's like inset into the um, into the screen that'll be more clear when I uh, want to show you what I mean when this is done so just hold on to that thought I'm sure quite a lot of you will have built seven segment displays. It's one of the cool little things you learn to build when you uh, just start out. Well, it was one of the first things I could do. <sighs> okay, so that's uh, those two done. The next two are, which I'll do, are uh, uh, leave the three in the middle. We'll do the most well yeah the furthest one over here bring that down oops I can see these aren't like all going to be equal like some come down further than others but doesn't really matter okay um Oh, damn, missed one. As you can see, I probably could have taken this a bit closer towards me. But, um, yeah, I wasn't too sure about stuff. Okay, so the bottom one will be this one here. So I'll just have it coming out like so. Middle one. I'm just going to have it coming down from there. Whoops, I forgot to add my, uh, my repeaters. Don't forget these, otherwise... Your current won't reach, um, signal, whatever. And this one, a bit more awkward, but to be honest, nothing too bad. Just take it out like so. Down like this. Ah, oh, damn. That's annoying. unless they reach does that reach yes it does okay that's fine never mind that I thought these um these repeaters were going to interfere with these so the redstone torch wouldn't activate the power below but it actually activates this instead so it's absolutely fine finally just add red uh, yeah redstone to this and you are done um, now just to check that they are 
reach. Uh, how? It's so infuriating when that happens. When I punch something. Well, not quite that bad, but yeah. Okay, all of them reach but this one here because I forgot a piece of redstone. Ah, oh, damn. Um, I'm going to have to build it like this. Okay, then. All of them reach, which is superb. So now, uh, now we can just go and add this on. Add the red sand back on. Okay then. Um, the next thing we need to do um, is add like the background wall to this, which goes just one back from a uh, from this, I think. Or does it go here? Oh yeah, it goes like, like this. So just fill all these in. Okay, you see that's a little bit small, so round the outside, just add another, uh, add another like, border. Okay then, that's our, seg uh, our first seven segment display finished. Um, once this is done, I'll go and I'll add wool like here so you can't see this sticking out the side, but just do a little bit of a test run, I suppose we could. Um, let's try and decode a, what shall we decode, a number two. So the number two is the top segment, the middle segment and the bottom segment. So it's the middle three. So for number two, the middle three, and then you also need this segment up here and this segment down here. So it's the far right one and this one here. So this is how the decoder works. Every time you want that number to be decoded, you place the torches which are relevant to the uh, to the segments. And when um, obviously this would be number fifteen, so this isn't going to look like this, but as you can see, it will go like that, and the number two is shown on our display. Very nice. See, so yeah, that's uh, that's how that will work. So for each number, we're going to have to place torches on every single one of these lines, which is very boring. And uh, but since they're all different, I don't think I can skip through it or cut the video as unless you can figure it out yourself, which isn't actually that hard, but it will be much of a tutorial if you've got to go and work it out yourself. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's that done. I think I'll leave it at that for now, um, and I'll do the next screen in the next video. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.